if I had all the money in the world, you know I would want them all in every style. Terror Threads unboxing, unbagging, opening, whatever you want to call it. And also I got some really sweet gifts in my P.O. box that I just wanted to share with you guys as well. Um, before I start, I just want to say I hope everybody had a really happy Halloween and really had a fabulous Halloween season. Mine was super busy. Um, I was working a lot and then basically if I wasn't working I was trying to make sure I could go to Not Scary Farm as many times as possible to see obviously the queen of Halloween, Elvira, um, for her last stage show. And can I also just say that because I know I have a lot of fans of Elvira that come to my channel um, for Elvira stuff. Um, she is not retiring by any stretch of the imagination. Please stop with the retiring rumors. She is not retiring. She is just stopping doing live shows at Not Scary Farm two times a night for every night of haunt. So, so that is that. I want to know what did you guys do for Halloween and what were your costumes? What did you dress up as? Comment down below and let me know. I am lucky enough that for my work I can dress up for a lot of different um, <laughs> events. So I actually, I was Elvira, uh, and then I also, um, for one particular night, I was uh, Winifred Sanderson from the Sanderson Sisters from Hocus Pocus. And you might notice, probably not, but whatever, <laughs> that I had to have a lot of my hair cut off because I ruined my hair trying to do that. If I can, I'll insert a photo of that here. But yeah, uh, it worked out for a little while, it was fine but the after effects, not so good. I do want to address, there were some haters, some trolls, and not that I think that they're worth my time, um, but I just do wanna say that uh, I wanna address a couple of things. Yes, my quality is not that great. For those of you who are new here, welcome. Thank you so much. I just used my iPhone 7 Plus. Uh, this is something that I do on the side for fun. I do not do this as my main source of income or any of that craziness. I do this for fun and to be involved in the horror community because that is something that for me uh, used to bring me some stress relief and it used to be a nice little wind down uh, when, I would, when I would have a day off or a few hours here or there and it was just a fun interaction. Uh, I will say that YouTube has not become the fun place that it used to be and that the YouTube community is not the same that it used to be and um, I'll be honest with you, I don't... I, I just, I don't want any negativity in my life, so once this stops being fun altogether, then I don't know, but as of right now, um, there were some trolls going around saying things on people's videos, you know, my theory is delete and block, I just don't have time. Um, yes, I do have a ton of stuff here, I have been fortunate enough that a lot of people have given me gifts and given me items. Um, and I like to display those so that everybody who watches can see those, including the people that were kind enough to give me those things. Uh, yes, do I have a few things that are like prized possessions, like this maquette right here? Uh, of course I do, and I, I wanted those in as well. So I just kind of tried to, to, you know, throw a lot of things here. Um, do I have organization to other areas? Yes, I do. Why do I still film here? I don't know, because it just seems natural since that's where I started to film. Um, if you think I have too much stuff in my background, I'm sorry, but the reason that it got that way is because a lot of people wanted to see a bunch of stuff in the background, so I put it there. Um, what else can I say? That's that. If, if you enjoy anything I do here, fabulous. If you don't, I'm so sorry. Uh, there's the proverbial door and I'm sure there are other videos that you can go on and enjoy so you know can everybody just try to be more positive instead of negative let's like spread positivity and encouragement and support 
and not uh, tearing down people, you know what I mean? That being said, let's get to the actual reason for this video, which is my Terra Threads unboxing. Why am I... What's wrong with my arms? I uh, ordered some items from Terra Threads, and I forgive me because I will forget the name of each of the designs. I will try to put that right here so that you will be able to see the name of each design, but I did have to get their Halloween collection. You guys know if it's Elvira or the movie Halloween, uh, original John Carpenter's 1978 Halloween. Um, I, you know, obviously I'm going to take notice and Terra Threads is one of my favorite companies and so I was really excited about this new series of Halloween, which are licensed by the way, um, Halloween licensed shirts that they did. So let's dig in. And these are all still available on their website, terrorthreads.com. I will link in the description box below as well for your convenience. Um, I don't get anything from you clicking it or whatever, so for everybody who's all pent up about that, um, I'm not getting anything from that other than spreading the love. There you go. Let's dig in. I did cut the bag open because it does have my home address on it. So, you know, I just, you know, <clears throat> stalkers. Creepy people. Not the right kind of creepy. The first one is, oh, I love this one. Oh, you know what? Maybe it says it right on it. Let's see. A little bummer it doesn't. Okay. And these are um, unisex. So normally, uh, I get a small, but since these are unisex, um, more along the lines of like a, a guy shirt, I get an extra small. So these are more of a traditional men's cut. Uh, and this one, I absolutely love it. Obviously, anything that has Lori and or Dr. Loomis, you've got me. Because there are so few shirts, posters, merch of any kind that has them featured on it. And I mean... The dynamic and the acting between them is one of the main reasons that I really love this film. So, and obviously, I mean Michael, I know, Michael, Michael's my man. Uh, so this one just says John Carpenter's Halloween. It has the Halloween pumpkin, jack-o'-lantern, you know, um, that actual carving. And then Michael Myers, Dr. Loomis, and Lori. Love that. is also the regular t-shirt style and I have to say like I really feel like this is one of my very favorites of like any Halloween shirt design anywhere I just this one really does it for me I think I'm gonna end up ordering the baseball tee in this design as well and this one says you can't kill the boogeyman John Carpenter's Halloween and this one just I'm sorry this one slays the entire vibe for me I absolutely love it it's got the fall leaves, and for those of you who are fans of Halloween, um, if you hear the stories, it was an independent film. They had one bag of fake uh, tree leaves that they had to disperse on the ground for each shot, and then everyone, including the actors, had to help pick back up the leaves, put them back in the bag, and go to the next um, shooting site. So it, I really enjoy that that is incorporated in there, and of course it really adds to the Halloween and fall vibe. But I absolutely love this design. I mean, the likenesses are spot on, and it is just absolutely beautiful. It even has um, a seam down here in the bottom. I don't know if you can see. I will try to hold this up better. And I just absolutely love it. So I do think that this one is probably my favorite, I'm not gonna lie. one is I gotta say another personal favorite for the fact that it is Lori and again very hard to find Lori Strode on a shirt and I got this one as a tank because I felt like it would be more versatile I could wear it as a tank I could put something long sleeve or mesh underneath it give it kind of a rock vibe um, and or go from one season to the other because this is a great shirt so this is the scene 
where she is in the living room by the sofa and she has the knitting needles and that's when she stabs Michael in the neck and hey you can't go wrong with the final girl who's about to stab Michael Myers in the neck with a knitting needle I mean I think that if anything says badass it's probably this shirt And again, that's unisex as well, so I normally get a small, so I got extra small. And this one, I don't have any orange shirts. I mean, you know I love orange, I'm just saying. I don't know, my hair kind of shows up a weird color on video, but whatever. I'm a fan of orange, but I don't really have any orange shirts. So I loved this design. It looks so, you know, retro, like one of the, it reminded me of one of the like old TV ads, you know, like in a newspaper. And I love this. And this one says, The Night He Came Home, John Carpenter's Halloween. And it has Michael on there. Orange. Really stands out. So those are the shirts. I absolutely love them. And most of them, I think, are available as tanks, t-shirts, and baseball tees, which oh, if I had all the money in the world, you know I would want them all in every style. I will link everything in the description box below. Definitely pick these up if you can. They are fully licensed. They are really good quality. Terra Thread shirts really hold up. I'm not lying. Like some of them, I have just worn and worn and worn. I'm domestically challenged, so I am not the greatest uh, at my laundry, and they they hold up fabulously, so it really is saying a lot. If I have lipstick on my teeth for this entire video, mm, there is going to be a problem. And Terror Threads also included some stickers, which I absolutely love. Their logo, the um, Terror Threads House of Terror, the classic um, one that they include, and then this new one. Oh, that is pretty badass. I like it. I like it. I like it. And then they also include a coupon, and if I wasn't going to use it, I would share it with you. But, you know, I'm going to use it, so I don't know. Maybe everyone can use it. If everyone can use this, then I'll link it in the description box below. I'll check online and find out. So that was my Terror Threads haul. I wanted to share with you guys that Halloween series. Great stuff. Fully licensed. Really good quality. So if you are a fan of Halloween, please go and do yourself a favor and pick them up because they're all killer. They're great. Um, I also do want to share with you guys a couple of things from my P.O. box, which I was completely super flattered by. This is just, this is amazing. So for those of you who aren't already familiar with Boogeyman Ben, I will link his channel here and in the description box below. Um, he is an amazing YouTuber. I was a fan of his channel before I started mine. And he is, you know, one of one of the uh, handful of YouTubers that I really enjoyed their videos before I even started doing any. So please go and check him out and subscribe to his channel. He has lots of great videos and he does all kinds of stuff too. So there's a little something for everyone. Um, but he was so kind as to send me the Donut Killer from Butcher Vision, and this is a mashup of Homer Simpson and Michael Myers, and you know, I, I'm just, I'm completely loving it. He is so cool. It is Michael Simpson, everybody. And that was so sweet of him to send this to me, and I am gonna be putting him on this shelf. And yes, I might reorganize the shelf. Now that it is November, I will have a little bit of extra available time to um, focus on some things that I wanted to do for videos so now oh my god he has a knife too what that is great um so hopefully it'll be organized better but i am gonna put him here he does have a little butcher knife oh my god that's amazing look at him oh that is great and it's removable the knife is removable too so i definitely recommend this um butcher vision does, he, he does great stuff and Ben, that was so, so nice of you to send this to me. I absolutely love him, and I think he's awesome. And he is going to go somewhere right here. He can go right here. I hope you guys can see. I, you know, I got to work on this. I got to work on the, where the camera and the light, you know, help. Somebody help.
So thank you so much to Ben for that. The other gift that I got in the P.O. box, and he did also send me another a vinyl uh, 45 and a card, but unfortunately I forgot to bring it in here before I started filming. Um, but thank you to Joseph Hall for sending me this amazing Adams Family original soundtrack from the TV show. I think this is incredible. So, so cool. Really added that amazing topping to my Halloween. Thank you so much to Joseph for sending me this. I really do appreciate it. I also wanted to give a big shout out and thank you to my good friend Amber for giving me this Lori Strode tote bag. It is amazing. I absolutely love it. Thank you so, so much. And she shares, of course, my love of Halloween and Elvira. So thank you, Amber, if you see this. As most of you know, as I mentioned, I went to Not Scary Farm as much as I could around work so that I could see Elvira and her show, which this year was based on Elvira, Mistress of the Dark, the movie, and it was incredible, honestly. Out of the last five years, I have gone every year to all of her stage productions, and they've all been fantastic, but this one, oh, it really took the cake. It was absolutely phenomenal. I know, if you didn't get to see it, what can you do? Uh, surf YouTube, see if some fans put up videos. I do know that Parks and Cons recorded the very last show, and it made me weepy because um, I was there in the front row for it, and it was absolutely incredible. That very last show, wow. It was, it was great. Well, definitely try to check that out online if you did not get to see it live. If you did get to see it live, comment down below and let me know. You know I want to talk about it. And I'm going to do a separate video on like all the Not Scary Farm stuff and Elvira's show and all of that. Um, I had hoped to do it before the show was actually over and Scary Farm season ended. But I literally, I was like working or there, working or there and hardly sleeping. So there's that. Okay, so I think that's it for the video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this um, Terror Threads unboxing, unbagging, whatever you want to call it, opening. Um, and my uh, P.O. Box mail. So I hope that you did enjoy this. And I will be making several more videos, hopefully within this next day to a week. And I know that when I should have had a bunch of videos up during the month of Halloween, I didn't. But that is okay because you guys who are still here, those are the people I want. People that love everything year-round and not only in the month of October. If you're a year-round fan, I mean, I'm not saying it gets bonus points with me, but it does. It does. Uh, I will be doing a giveaway as well, so stay tuned for that. I'm going through a ton of stuff. I mean, honestly, at this point, if it's not Elvira or John Carpenter's Halloween, it's probably going to have to go. I just, there's only so much room. Um, I have a lot of cool stuff in our living room and in this room, but I just, I, I don't, I don't need it all. So I'm going to share the love with you guys because I appreciate you guys watching my crazy silly little channel. So thank you again. I will see you on the next video and as always, stay spooktacular. Thank you.